Yo, this is your boy Cadet, and this is my introspection. Third time's a charm. Yeah. <laughs> Cadet, why were you having, why were you having conversations at Before different it. times of your life, bro? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Every time I go through something, isn't it? Yeah, man, it's, um, it's crazy, man. First of like, just to get straight to it, like, um, first of all, how are you actually feeling about the incredible response to Closure? I'm grateful, man. Like, I'm so grateful, man. I'm overwhelmed, and I'm grateful, man. And to be fair, I just want more. I just want more of it, man. I just want a lot more. Yeah. But I'm so grateful, bro. I feel lucky, I feel lucky. Now, kind of some of the things we're talking about off camera is, and maybe not specifically you and Be- I'm going too deep into it, mm. when you make these types of songs, mm. right, what is the fallout from it personally and also creatively? Or and also cre- creative? What do you mean? What do you mean? So, like, do you get boxed in that you're the guy who just tells stories? Mm. Personally, does... How does it? How do you reconcile? How do you do you care what the girl thinks? Like, how does your family? Like, how does that fall out? Um, okay, cool. Now, family. Now, what should I start with? Okay, create musically. Um, yeah. So if I when I the only thing that's annoying is if I, put, if I put out a song just like my life and my story, that's a real life scenario. And if I'm telling it as a story, I get boxed off as rather than being a guy that's being really honest with his music, I then get put in a box of. Now this guy's a storyteller now, which is the most annoying thing because I'm not just making up stories. This is real life stuff I'm going through. You get me? Mm-hmm. Um, so that that can happen. Of course, the attention is good though. The attention is good if you know how to how to bounce off it. If you can, like um, I saw something today, even earlier on today, and it was just about um, it's, it's what makes you is how you how you react off how you bounce off an opportunity. And it's not it's not the scenario that makes you. It's how you bounce off the opportunity that makes you. So. If you can turn it into something good, then that's sick. I was thinking about it this week as well, is that my family didn't even know about the girl or a lot of these situations. I don't, I don't really talk to them about how I feel a lot of the time. So a lot of the time, the first time my fans here on the scenario I've gone through, the first time my family know about the scenario I've gone through. So my mum, obviously my mum, so with closure, my mum knew that. I, obviously I told her that I got someone pregnant, but she didn't know nothing about the girl. She didn't know nothing about the whole story. My dad didn't know nothing about the whole story. Bare, most people in my life, they had no idea about the whole story. So I was getting bare phone calls after that. Are you saying you really went through this? That's the that's the, that's, that's really the only thing. No one really knows in my life mm. what I'm going through. So they hear it from my music. They hear it at the same time as my fans do. I mean, is there a particular reason why you, you choose to put it to music first and talk into the actual I just don't talk about it. I just don't talk about it, bro. I, I, I feel like my role isn't my role isn't to burden you. It's to, it's to relieve, like, relieve you of your burdens and that. Mm. Like in my family, so my mum shouldn't have to hear my stresses. I meant to be the one taking away her stress. Mm. Same with my sister, same with my dad. I meant to be the one that's helping rather than being like this. This is what I'm going through. It's probably bad. I probably should change that. To be fair, I mean it's a lot to carry. You know, I hear that, but I'm so used to it. It's just like just get on with it, man. Mm. I feel like if I'm going through something that like, really fucked, it's just like yo, bro, just just get on with it, bro. Just get mm. on with it and. There'll be a light, and then I'm I'm lucky enough that I found music. I'm lucky enough that I found rapping and freestyling as a vent. Otherwise, it'll just be pent up. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it'll just be pent up. I'll just be going mad. I don't want to smoke or nothing like that. Alcohol will be the mad turns. I'm lucky mm-hmm. I found a healthy alternative. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so when I first heard the tune, I heard it probably a few weeks before it came out. Um, we even played it to me, and the first thing I was like, I was like, the first thing I said. That's not a song. That it's, it's, that's like it's true. Yeah. And proof was like, yeah, bro, you already know. I was hoping it weren't real. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you're listening to, it, I'm like, okay, cool. Cadet's talking about a girl. Like, cool. Like, all right, I'm getting there. And then it's like, what? Now, mm-hmm. bro. <clears throat> needless to say, that's almost. I would say it's horrific, but that's an emotional roller coaster. Mm-hmm. How, after you find out all these things happen, how do you not just spaz out? Like, what when you find out the truth, what is the first thing you... I know you got in somewhere. What's the first thing that you actually are thinking of in regards to this lady that you've been... So, first, my first thought was, what the fuck? Okay, so, first thought was, what the fuck? Then second thought was, I knew, I knew it was something. So, just like it says in the freestyle. So, when, when I said, well, let me, look, let, me have a look in, let, me, let me have a look in your phone, and she said, no, yeah. From then I switched off. I said, okay, I can't, this is not healthy for me. I need to completely 
get rid of this girl out of my life. It's like a it's like a virus. I need to cut her out of my life ASAP because if I can't simply look for your phone, there has to be something. And that was the first time ever in my life I've actually gone with my gut. Any scenario I've been in, I need facts. I've never been, I've never in any scenario I've gone with my gut. It's always been facts. I need facts before I can make any decision. That was the first time ever in my life I've I felt something's wrong, not had the facts, and, and said, you know what, cool, I'm keeping it moving. And then I got lucky enough that when the cousin told me all the stuff that she was doing, that I was emotionally removed from her. Okay. So because I was emotionally removed, I was just being told information, and it was just like, oh, wow, slow down. Mm. I was like, what happened, yeah? God knows what I would have done or how I would have felt if she told me when I was still emotionally invested. If I was still invested and still connected with her emotionally and I heard that, I probably would have just, I don't know what I would have done. Mm. I don't know what the hell I would have done. And I can, I can overreact a lot of the time. I, I have, sometimes, out of anger especially, I can overreact. I don't know. I have no idea what I would have done. So I'm just, I'm just grateful that, that I got told when I was disconnected. So it was like, oh wow, oh wow, I swear down, that's what happened, you get me? And then yeah. But I got told on two separate occasions. It wasn't just one time. Wow. So one time I got told, um, the first time I got told, yo, boom, she was seeing this guy from work. There was better stuff I didn't add in the story mm-hmm. as well. There was other stuff she'd done as well. Like there was another guy she was chatting to as well. Like so in the workplace, there were two guys she was chatting to. It's, it's yeah, that's what, so I say, um, when you were chatting with her, I said, there was these guys at work, that's what I say. Yeah. Um, and there's bare scenarios, bro, like where I, got, I just got mocked. Like, she was going on a holiday with her girls. I dropped her holiday, dropped her to the airport, picked her up from the airport, found out from the cousin that she was on their holiday with a U and that. Like, there's, bro, there's bare things that I just never, never would have, never would have clocked. But how I found out, and both different scenarios, is I found out one time that um, she was chatting to, the, to, the, to this guy and it was a serious, and that's when the, the whole pregnant and was trying to work out who the baby was. And maybe like a week later, that she didn't know I, that the miscarriage happened. She thought I knew about the abortion. And then that's when she told me about the abortion, like a, like a week or so after. Right. But I was just so lucky that I was emotionally removed. Mm. So it was just like me hearing information rather mm. than me being like, what, what the fuck? Is it? Like, you know what I mean? I'm bugging out. Bro, that's a nightmare, man. Do you know what it is? Yeah? It's more damn. It sounds ignorant, yeah. Man, forgive me. It's, like, it's more damaging to melt ego. To be even seen as... A million like, percent, bro. Like, if you're going on that whole player play, they'll be like, you're not know, cool and you charge it to the game. Yeah. But it's a mockery. It's a mockery, bro. And the, the, you see, the, you see that, you see a man's curse, especially like a, especially <laughs> a man, a man's curse of this year is that we think we're, we're we think we're the shit. Mm-hmm. So we think, so like, if a girl, we think that us cheating, we're the best at it. Yeah, we think that a girl can never play me. Mm-hmm. I'm the player in this scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone feels like they're the boss in their own movie. <laughs> Everyone feels like they're the boss. They're the, they're the final character in their own game, and they they are the shit in it from. Mm-hmm. So, so when you find out someone else has had had you on the string the whole time, you're like, wait, there, what? Like, so we we don't, sometimes we don't look past our egos, and then when you find out someone else has just had the thing on smash this whole time, it's just like, yo, like, yo, but it's just made me even more bitter than I was before. If I'm honest, I was really, I was bitter before this, and now I'm just like, yo, you used to say you're damaged goods. Yeah, I still think I'm damaged goods. Would you equate that mainly because of her? No, because when I said that in Invest, it was before, before I found out about this stuff. So mm. don't get twisted. Just, this is recent, you know? Yeah, no, no but I'm saying that, like, that, that, but I meant because of, like, she was someone that you... Oh, you no, so I've, I've had scenarios of girls just chatting shit forever. Like, girls just be beating me while you got a boyfriend. I find out you're beating me in my bedroom at the same time. Or have someone, girl, cutting true. There's, there's been so many scenarios where girls have been... All right, so hey, hey, the honest, the truth is, yeah, I grew up very naive, yeah. I grew up, I grew up believing that every woman on earth was like my mum, my sister, my nan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I always thought the Jezzies looked like Jezzies. I'd yeah. see a Jezzie walking down the road, I'd be like, this girl's definitely a Jezzie. She's dressed a certain way, she just looks a certain way. Mm-hmm. This girl's a Jezzie. And I thought everyone, apart from the ones that look like Jezzies, had to be good girls. Like, mm-hmm. just like my mum, my aunties, my nans, right. whatever. So I always thought every girl was a good girl. I thought women just don't cheat. They just they can't do it. it mm. They can't speak. They can't talk to one guy. I mean, to more than one guy or whatever. And then it started hitting me. So because I came out with no guard, with no shield, 
and I'm getting hit from every angle. It's like I'm really being like, yo, I'm really in a dangerous space right now, being so naive and being so emotionally available. I got to just cover up and I started getting hit with bare scenarios. One girl was just be violating left, right and centre. Not necessarily violating me, but showing me things that I didn't think was capable of them. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Things I just couldn't fathom. Like, what? You done this and this and that and this and this and that. But this one was the nail in the coffin. But before this one, I was damaged goods, though. But this one was the nail in the coffin. You know, it's funny. Well, not funny. The interesting thing is that I somewhat like, because I, I grew up in, like I said, Clapham. Mm. Then I moved to Battersea, right? Um, Clapham Junction area. And I opened my eyes, because Clapham Commons, calm, it's upper class. Battersea, we had nice property, but it was the hood. Mm-hmm. And you know, I didn't understand that like, there's a hood mentality with the, with the girls. Yeah. And you're just thinking like, nah, it's all cool. Like, I like you, you like me. Okay. Nah. <laughs> and then, and then, brother, you become almost gullible to the words. And then the point when you start seeing me, I'm like thinking, rah, like, like, you're at my house, but you said you got a boyfriend. Yeah. And you just almost play like, you feel hurt though. Like, I thought I was the only one. And then. See, yeah. for me, like I said, I had the, I had the curse. <laughs> so a girl would be at my house with a boyfriend and I, rather than me thinking she's deceitful, I think I'm just that fly. So that's why she's here. Like, but I'm I mean just the that fir- I mean, the first time. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah. Afterwards, like, you go and be like, you'd be like, yo, like, it's better to be on this side because yeah, I can see yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. the first time you're talking to her, you didn't even know she had a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And then you finally be like, what, so it ain't, it ain't just... See, now what would, what would fuck me up in that scenario is that the boyfriend would think they're on good terms. So yeah, it's not yeah. like... It's not like they're in a relationship where they both know what's going on. The boyfriend would be like, yeah, that's my, that's my missus, that's my woman. And she's out there doing dirty and he has no idea, bro. It's mad, bro. Like, it's messed me up because I'm damaged good. But do you feel, okay, so after the song comes out, did you find, like, what, it sounds weird, were people almost, like, giving you more information saying? Nah, um, nah, I don't talk to no one from that side anymore. Like, the cousin, me and the cousin's mad cool. I've got mad love for the cousin. The cousin's actually a friend of mine now, yeah. Mm. But, nah, so, all right, do you know what happened, yeah? So, here was, here was messed up, yeah? Is that someone else that knows her, knows my ex, yeah, um, messaged me, like, yo, bro, just heard, just heard the, the, the freestyle. This is mad. I'm like, yeah, this is mad still. And he was like, do you know what's mad, though? This sounds like something she would be on. And I was like, brother, why didn't you tell me all this time? Like, all this time you knew, you didn't say nothing. He was like, nah, man, I just... Like, boy, like, this is just how it goes. So, some people confirmed it, that what she was on. Mm. But I never got no extra information. I don't really want to know anymore, to be fair. I feel mm. like I know enough to be like, whatever. All you're doing is, sh- I've learned how blind I was. I don't think I could be any more blind than that. So no, no. But then the, 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 the ignorant question is, you're going to have to move on from that, though. Oh, I get it. No, I'm, I, the second she said I can look for her phone, I switched off. I mean, I mean, I mean, in future relationships, though. What do you mean? Like, in terms of, like, the effect of accumulatively what's happened mm-hmm. and being, quote, unquote, damaged good. You know what they're going to say, like, oh, cadet, like, you're going to have to let this go and you have to really open I hear that, yeah, but I don't give a fuck, bro. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm damaged, bro. Like... <laughs> Imagine, imagine, a, imagine, a, imagine a boxer, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's in, he's in round six, yeah. Mm-hmm. But he's, but so a, a boxer has been in a fight, yeah. And and from round six, round seven, round eight, up to round ten, he's been getting nothing but body blows, mm-hmm. and he body blows hurt like he's never felt before, yeah. Mm-hmm. His next fight, he's gonna be blocking his stomach. Yeah, it's a completely different fight, but it's a lesson that he's learned. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm not saying he's gonna completely block his stomach to the point where he loses everything else. Mm-hmm. But he's going to be aware that, yo, there's some body blows right now that can really rock you. Really, really rock you. Mm-hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? It might not knock him out, but it might be like they're going to really rock you and he'll be blocking his belly a lot. Mm. And it's, got, it's got me to the point where every girl that I come across is guilty until proven innocent. I mean, I, I mean, I, it makes sense. Because you got to now be in like preservation mode. And I don't know what they look like anymore. Before, I thought the bad ones looked like bad ones. But now I don't know what they look like anymore. They look just like my mum, just like my sister, just like my mm. auntie. Just mm-hmm. like the good ones that I'm sure are good. Yeah. So now, I get, I, get, I know I should let that go. I know I shouldn't carry my past into my future and that, yeah, but... This is who, this is who but I am. The thing is, yeah, like, it sounds mad, yeah, but it's always... You know how you just feel like, ah, oh, God forbid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, that's a cadet story, like. <laughs> so, <laughs> bruv, you took, you took the L, you took all our sins. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> but don't get choosing. Bear man, no, I learned it from closure, bro, you know? Th- this is the scary thing, is like, you know, all the memes are quite funny, mm-hmm. where it's like, you see, you see, like, the reactions, where it's like... Yeah, how are you? And it's just the memes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, bro, I'm, listen, like, when my fans, I'm really open with my supporters, mm-hmm. isn't it? Yeah. So I be getting bare, I get stories about 
man finding out their girl's on rage from after closure. Like, let me look for your phone and the girl's really bugging out and he's like, wait there, we've been together for years and I can't look for your phone. And she's bugging out and he's like, no, something's wrong. I've heard about four scenarios since closure's dropped about situations being rocky now. Legit. Ooh. Man are learning from man's things. But I feel like this is what this is what comes with being an honest uh, honest artist. I done stereotype. And someone said to me that they went and checked their nan and a nan passed away, but they managed to check them before they passed away. Same thing with behind bars. Someone checked their dad and their dad died a week after, but they wasn't talking. And if you never if you never heard behind bars, he wouldn't have went to go check for his dad and then mm. whatever. I'm sure slut changed a lot of man's ways and that. I'm sure let the crap made people just like rebuild bridges and that. When you're with honest music, that's what it's meant to be doing, man. So I know man are learning. I know man are knowing that maybe it's not all rainbows and that in a relationship. Ah, oh, bro, listen, like, ah. <laughs> you know, that like, now it's going to be like, can I go through your phone checklist? Like, you know, you're also going to be like, how old are you? Like, where are you from? Like, let me see ID and whatever. Like, now boy, like, like, let me, let whatever me. Whatever you need, bro. Let me just, what's, let, can I just see your last, like, 10 DMs or. Yeah, you know, see? Like, and yeah, you know what the scary thing is? The scary thing is, Thinking in your head, the answer will be yes. So when I asked her, I said, well, I'm never, I'm, I said, well, listen, I don't, I don't trust you and it's weird right now. I really want to move forward. So hey, so when I said, let me look for your phone, not because I wanted to see something. I, the problem was that when I, every time I was by myself, I was thinking, why don't I trust her? Something's going on. So I said, let me look for your phone. And the reason why I wanted to look for her phone is so I see nothing so I can convince myself to stop bagging up when I'm by myself. And when she said no, it threw me off. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Like, what? What do you mean, no? Like, I'm not, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not trying to see stuff, you know? I'm just trying to see nothing and then be like, yo, when I'm by myself, brother, stop bugging out, man. Build something with this girl, you get me? Mm-hmm. And she said, no. I was like, what? I was like, holy shit, man, I was right this whole time. And like, <laughs> I couldn't believe it, brother. I couldn't believe it. When, okay, bro, when you, um, when you, so this is something I actually wanted to ask you. So, when you thought the situation, um, what's going to happen, where you're going to be a father, Yeah. did you now start after the question, economically how music would make sense for you to be a supportive father? Nah, nah, I didn't even think, I, I didn't think like that, man. I thought, from, so for me, from my behind bars experience here, yeah, I've learned that it's not so much the money in regards to being a father, it's about me being there. Don't get twisted, I know you have to have some money. Mm-hmm. But my child can live with me, mm-hmm. me and my mum can live together. It's better we live on basics, but I'm near, mm-hmm. rather than me thinking about how I'm going to provide the best life for you. Mm-hmm. I just want to be in your life. Obviously, as a father, I want the best for my child, mm-hmm. but I don't, I'm not that bothered about you having the most comfortable cot. I prefer you to sleep in my arms, if that's mm-hmm. the case. But it's about me being there, innit? you know what I mean? And I didn't even think that far ahead, bro. So, because it was only the third month. So, so I found out she was pregnant. So like, so when when a woman's when when a girl's gonna have a child, they normally it's not. I mean, twelve weeks. Yeah. Or that, six weeks. It's a certain period where it's like, where it's rocky up until yeah, then. Yeah. And then only after that is you're good. You get me? Mm-hmm. Now, so I imagine the twelfth week. So I, I thought it was twelve week or four or three months. I, I don't know. If, like, forgive me for not knowing. But let's just say for conversation's sake that is I don't know three months yet. Mm-hmm. Now two days before the, the for the third month was my birthday, but we made it so close to the third month. That I thought the baby's has to, it's coming now, isn't it? Mm. Like, we're, we're a couple of days away from finding out that it's death or going ahead. So, I'm definitely going to be a father now, you get me? Mm. And then, when whatever happened, I was like, oh shit. So, I didn't make no preparations. Maybe that was slow of me, I guess. But I made no preparations. It, to be fair, it took me like two and a half months to tell my mum about that. Mm. Tell my mum or dad that. Like, but I was putting it off a long ball. Like, I was like, mum, I got something to tell you. She was like, tell me. Then I was like, oh, I'm going to come back. I done that for about a month and a half. My dad, I got something to tell you. But I'm, one day I said, you know what, I'm having a baby, mum. And she was like, yeah, I knew. She said, like, just don't bring a mad girl into the family. That's what she said. She said, don't bring no mad girls in the family. But no, nah, I didn't even think about the preparations, but I didn't get that far ahead. I was too, I was too, I, I was too busy doing what a lot of, what a lot of men do here when they, especially with an unplanned child. Tell me you're pregnant. They say, they say, you find out you're pregnant week one. You don't know how to must up the courage to tell me until week three that you're pregnant. I spend week three to a month and a half convincing myself, or even month two, convincing myself I'm not ready for a child. This can't work. I'm bugging out. No, let's plan it and then have, have, have something properly. This weren't planned. I'm not ready. I'm not saying, you should, I'm not saying go, go get abortion, go get rid of my child, but I'm not ready for this. And then spend week two to, I'm saying spend month two to month three 
coming to grips with it and saying, I'm going to be a father, I need to get my shit together. I need to be a good father, I need to make sure I got everything planned and then telling my parents. And then before any preparations, it shut down. Mm. That's how it went. And do you know what's funny? Because, I, like I said, I'm, I've, I've met, I didn't even know it was your dad when I went to your show in. Oh, wow. Elect, no, the one in Camden. Camden Electric Boy, yeah. yeah. I remember, I guess, like, because your dad's quite tall, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, and I've seen. And everyone, I, was thinking, I thought your dad was an actor or somebody. Because yeah. everyone upstairs was like, like, just like high fiving your dad or yeah. I was thinking, like, who's this, who's this, uh-huh. who's this guy? And I thought, um, like, Michael Dapp, everyone was there. And um, then I, I remember you used to say, like, your dad come on, come to the stage. Because mm-hmm. your dad was standing right next to me. Then he came onto the stage. And then I remember also when you brought your mum out yeah. and your sister out, and your mum has like a real, like, strong vibe Black woman kind of yeah, 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 yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Maybe it's the head rapper and all them things. That's her, yeah, yeah. That's mama. I mean? So when I saw that, I was thinking, I could see where a cadet, where the confusion of like, yo, like, that's my mum, innit? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, why would you be... My mum's a queen, bro. Like, yeah. I, I find it so hard to find... When I when I when I first found out women not all women are queens, bro, I, my, I was mind blown. I was like, what the bro, what, fuck? What, what, was, what was the what was the what was the light bulb switch? What has actually happened when you knew? What was the circumstance? What was my first scenario? Where, mm, bro, I'd be real. My first, I was in school. My first, my, my first girlfriend. I was the second girlfriend in school. Just uh, I'm not gonna say her name. She, we was going out together. She kissed on you and was together. That, that wasn't nothing. That didn't hit me. Even when this girl started to see another you, that didn't even hit me. When did it hit me? I don't know, man. I can't remember the light bulb. You know, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I just know one day, I, I heard a girl was doing bad and I was not shocked. I was just like, right, yes, whatever. Yeah, it's just whatever. Well, the man them ever telling you like these type of things, or I was the only, I was the, the hopeless old man. The cut of the man them. The man them was always saying, "Fella, these are gala just just bitches," and they're just saying <laughs> they're talking scatty. I was like, "Fella, it's not like that, bro." Like, I got friends that have never been in relationships ever. They've been like, "Fella, like, nah." And I'm like, "Bro, what are you talking about, man? Like, they're not they're not bad, bro. Like, they're actually like, you just got to find a good one. You get me?" Until the point where I was like, "Oh my god," <laughs> when I say it in a stereotype. I believe in finding the roles until I find out, well, I live in the woods. Like, mm-hmm. this is, there's no roles that don't grow in the woods right now. It's, I'm in the wrong place. Yeah, that's crazy. I can't remember what the light bulb switch was. I can't remember, man. But then again, I just remember one day waking up and being like, yo, I, I have no faith in in anyone, in any, any of these girls no more. They're all guilty until they're proven innocent. Do you believe in marriage? 100%. I want to get married. I want to, I want to, what was it? No. A, a, a scenario has hit me. So, um, one girl I was chatting to, and she came across so perfect, so so good. Mm-hmm. She's the she's the girl that would be saying, "What that girl? She done this and done that." You know, uh, swear down that. Like, da, 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 da. And I found out she was beating me and my bedroom at the same time. Like, so you had actual bedroom, bedroom, like, bedroom. Like, is that my and she, Did bro? she know that you love bedrooms? Yeah, she knew we were bedrooms, but she thought their thing was a secret. But so she was just chatting my business to him. But he's my little bro, you get me? So he would tell, you, he would tell me, and I, when I found out, I was like, brother. And he would, we're matching up days in it. And I was like, brother, she just left yours and came mine. Like, what are you talking about? Or that day when she was at my house, but she told you she would went somewhere with her mum and that. I was like, brother. Bare scenarios. And I'm just thinking to myself, yo, like, it got scary when I could not tell that you're bad. Like, that's when it got scary. When I, I can't tell that you're actually bad. Like, I thought I could always clock. I thought I was the master. I thought I'm the man, I'm the, I'm the G. Mm-hmm. I couldn't clock.